Good morning, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this video. I'd like to begin with prayer. In the Catholic Church, we generally begin and end our prayers with the sign of the cross. So we say in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that's a reminder of our baptism in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it's also uh, honoring our triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So we begin, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, we thank you for calling us together in your name. We pray in thanksgiving for all of the many blessings that you have given to us. We pray for all the intentions that we've been made aware of, especially for those who have died. We pray for the repose of their souls. We pray that you'll be with us as we begin this process of studying your word, and learning more about being a disciple of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Welcome to the RCIA, the Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults process for St. Mary Church and the Newman Catholic Student Center. This process is for catechumens, those who have never been baptized, for candidates, those baptized in other faith tradition, for Catholics seeking to complete their initiation with confirmation or Holy Communion, for sponsors and godparents, and for inquirers, those who want to learn more about the Catholic faith, which should be all of us. We'll be starting the process quite a bit differently this year due to the COVID-19 guidelines. Our teaching sessions will all be either audio or video recordings you will be able to listen to, hopefully, before each of our Zoom meetings for discussion and question. Video or audio links will be provided to you with handouts in advance of each discussion meeting. There will be two options for attending discussion meetings on Zoom. The first option will be Sunday mornings from 10.45 to 11.25 a.m. The second option each week that we have discussion meetings will be Tuesday evenings from 7 to 7.40 p.m. For this first teaching session, we will begin with a reading from Scripture, from the Gospel according to Luke. Luke chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. For those of you who were able to make it to an inquiry session, this reading will sound familiar. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Two of them that same day were making their way to a village named Emmaus, seven miles distant from Jerusalem, discussing as they went all that had happened. In the course of their lively exchange, Jesus approached and began to walk with them. However, they were restrained from recognizing him. He said to them, What are you discussing as you go your way? They halted, in distress, and one of them, Cleopas by name, asked him, Are you the only resident of Jerusalem who does not know the things that went on there these past few days? He said to them, What things? They said, All those that had to do with Jesus of Nazareth, a prophet powerful in word and deed in the eyes of God and all the people. How our chief priests and leaders delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. We were hoping that he was the one who would set Israel free. Besides all this, today, the third day since these things happened, some women from our group have just brought us some astonishing news. They were at the tomb before dawn. He failed to find his body, but returned with the tale that, he had, that they had seen a vision of angels who declared he was alive. Some of our number went to the tomb and found it to be just as the women had said, but him they did not see. Then Jesus said to them, What little sense you have, how slow you are to believe all that the prophets have announced. Did not the Messiah have to undergo all these things to enter into his glory? Beginning then with Moses and all the prophets, 
he interpreted for them every passage of scripture which referred to him. By now they were near the village to which they were going, and he acted as if he were going on farther. But they pressed him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening, and the day is practically over. So he went in to stay with them. When he had seated with himself with them to eat, he took bread, pronounced the blessing, and broke the bread and began to distribute it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, whereupon he vanished from their sight. They said to one another, Were not our hearts burning inside us as he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? They got up immediately and returned to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven and the rest of the company assembled. They were greeted with, The Lord has been raised, it is true. He has appeared to Simon. And they recounted what had happened on the road and and how they came to know him in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. I use this reading from the Gospel of Luke to begin this process because it does show three ways that we encounter Jesus. The first way that we encounter Jesus is when we're on a journey, walking with a companion. The second way that we encounter Jesus is when the scriptures are broken open to us and it is explained to us how the scriptures refer to Jesus. Jesus is referred to as the Word of God beginning of John's Gospel it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John chapter 1 verse 1. So Jesus is called the Word of God, and he is revealed to us in God's Word. Third way that we encounter Jesus is in the breaking of the bread. And in the Catholic faith, we believe that Christ is truly present, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the consecrated bread and wine that have become the body and blood of Christ. We reserve the consecrated hosts that are left after Mass and put them in the tabernacle, and they are there for veneration or to take communion to the homebound and hospitalized. So these are three ways that we encounter Jesus in our lives. Please refer to handout number one for this teaching session on God's love. Take some time to reflect on where you have encountered God in your life. This is for yourself, for your own personal reflection, and does not have to be shared with anyone. However, if you wish to share part of your story, you will have that opportunity during the Zoom discussion meeting when we do introduction. You get to decide whether you are a cyclical or linear person. If you look at the circle on the handout, you will see that birth and death are at the same place. That is because our birth was our transformation from our first state of being in the womb to our second state of being on this earth. And our death will be our transition from this state of being on earth to our next state of being in the afterlife, which we hope is heaven. That is the great hope of Christians, our hope in the promise of heaven. If you look at the line on the handout, it has birth on the left side with an arrow pointing to the left because we existed in the womb state before we were born. And the line has death on the right side with an arrow pointing to the right because we will exist after we die. So you may use the handout to reflect on where you have encountered God in your life and you decide whether to use the line or the circle. So at this time, please spend some time with the handout in personal reflection. Thank you.